Capricorn. This is Lucky with Lucky Sevens Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. And this is your mid-September 2021 general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember uh, that these messages can resonate for you anywhere where you have Capricorn in your natal chart. So they may resonate for you in your love life, your family life, your friendships, all of that. We're going to jump right into this. If you want a private reading with me, my website link is in the description box below, lucky 7 Um, If you want to enter to win the free mini cardology report that I'm offering two of my subscribers at the end of each month, you can do that by being subscribed to the channel, liking this video, and commenting uh, hashtag Team Capricorn in the comment section down below. All right. Let's go ahead and get into this. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to freestyle today because that's how I'm feeling. All right. Instead of doing my normal reading, I'm going to do something a little different for you guys. All right. So how is Capricorn feeling in the month of September, middle of September to the end of September? How are they feeling? Page of Swords. So you may be feeling more communicative you want there might be somebody that you want to speak to um you may even be wanting to speak the truth to someone um maybe somebody that you let go of or there's something here that you're like having an aha moment that maybe you need to let something go and stop giving so much effort into something that you were giving effort into before all right um What's coming towards my Capricorns out there, my Capricorn subscribers? What's coming towards them for middle of September? The Two of Swords. So there's something here where someone is one foot in and one foot out. It could be something here that's undecided. Maybe you're just not seeing something clearly. Undecided about what you want, undecided about what they want. Now, any of these messages can be reversed, okay? Um... I feel like maybe you don't see that you're getting a blessing in disguise, something that you do want, all right? Maybe some of you have to take some sort of action, make a decision to get something that you want, all right? What is the challenge here for Capricorns for the middle of September? The challenge is maybe some petty arguing, grievances. Uh, there could feel like something is not coming together for you um, right now. You could feel very stuck. You could feel bound to someone. Some of you, maybe something isn't coming together because of addictions, whether it's sex addiction, drug addiction, you know, that sort of thing. Some of you, it could be some petty fighting with someone who has some sort of addiction uh, as well or fighting and you kind of feel like you don't know how to end it, you know, end the fighting and arguing the pettiness that's going on, okay? Okay. Um, what is it that Capricorn doesn't see coming in the middle of September? What you don't see coming is an opportunity for something very stable, actually. For some of you, this could be money. This could be a stable relationship or commitment, okay? Um, some of you, maybe you're afraid to take a risk on this or you're not seeing some sort of stability coming in, okay? Because somebody may be afraid to take a risk. Some of you, this is not love, all right? This is love. It could be a love offer coming in from someone that doesn't have, maybe you didn't have closure with this person, all right? Um, or something just has not fully completed its cycle. We'll see, because I will clarify these energies. Let's see what action you're taking uh, Capricorn, what action is Capricorn taking this month? What is Capricorn? What is the action Capricorn's taking this month? To let go, Capricorn, you're letting go of something that's been weighing you down, holding you back, um, and you're freeing yourself, which is really good. All right, you're freeing yourself. You're not holding back. You're not letting this keep you stuck. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify these messages. Tell me why the Page of Swords is here as far as Capricorn's feelings this month, how they're feeling. The Magician, all right? So a lot of you are recognizing your power, okay? You might be coming into a time where um, 
you're recognizing your power to end something, okay? For some of you, there could have been a very harsh or difficult ending that you're struggling with, and now it may have to do with the fact that somebody was not... Um, they may have been manipulative, you know, that sort of thing. And now I feel like you want to speak up. You want to speak your truth. There definitely could be a reason to celebrate. For some of you, you could be gaining some sort of closure on a situation that ended badly. All right. But you hold the cards here. You have the power. All right. Now let's clarify these energies. Tell me why this page of swords is here. Yeah, look at that. The Queen of Wands in reverse. A lot of you, there's been a lack of action that you've been taking when it comes to this situation, okay? A lack of action, a lack of um, movement when it comes to this. I think you felt stuck. You've been in your head. You've been overthinking it. You felt like you were in a mental prison. And now I think that that's changing for you. You're recognizing your power. So why is the Two of Swords here? Uh, as what's coming towards you. The Ace of Wands. So there's a decision that has to be made about what new beginning you're taking uh, this month, Capricorn. Look at that, the Nine of Cups. And it was here when the Two of Swords came out. What's going to bring you the most happiness? What's going to be... Um, what's going to be beneficial for you? Okay. Five of Wands. Yeah. So the Five of Wands talks about your challenge... I think your challenge has a lot to do with something coming to an end where maybe there was no, you know, no stability here. There could have been a lot of arguing or there can be a lot of arguing. Um, maybe you felt tied to this person. Some of you, this is a breakup, okay? Maybe with an Aries or a Taurus for some. For others, this is an ending in a situation where it's like, yeah, you're planting seeds for a new beginning, Okay, you have something better coming in as you end this situation that's challenging you. You have an opportunity for something more stable to come in um, for you. A stable opportunity, okay? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? As what Capricorn doesn't see coming. The Hermit. Some of you, there is this opportunity for stability coming in. But maybe you're in this place where you can't see it just yet. You're going through a spiritual awakening. You may feel lonely because there is something here that you have to walk away from. Um, a relationship or higher level commitment that you have to let go of because you're realizing there's no stability. And you've kind of been stuck in that. Maybe you've had your guard up because of that as well. But I see something coming back around, an opportunity um, coming back around. Maybe some of you were not talking to someone and now there is some sort of communication coming in very slowly that brings in some sort of stability for you. Ten of Wands. That's... All right. And you've got the Page of Pentacles, okay? Um, and the Five of Swords here. So I do feel like a lot of you are dealing with some sort of competition, maybe internal conflict about letting something go. I see a new opportunity that's coming in very slowly, uh, but it may be very stable for you. Okay. Tell me about this Ace of Wands is what Capricorn doesn't see coming. Four of Wands. A lot of you, there is a new commitment on the horizon for you. Could be a love commitment. An opportunity for something to grow, but maybe you have choices here. Okay, maybe this is somebody else's energy towards you and you're one of the choices that they have. But I'm telling you, there's a possibility for a higher level commitment. Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Some of you, I feel like the challenge is to let go of something you've been holding on tightly to, having to do with a very difficult or harsh ending in your life that just wasn't meant to come together for you, okay? It wasn't coming together. And you've still been kind of holding on to this, um, wanting maybe wanting closure, wanting peace within this situation for a lot of you, okay? I'm going to leave that there. Yeah, there is no closure yet. It, the situation is not over. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. 
the temperance. So you've had, I feel like you have to be patient with this. There's balance coming in, maybe some truth revealed to you. Some of you, it has to do with a Sagittarius, maybe a Virgo or an Aquarius for some. I think you've been stressed out about this, overthinking, okay? Feeling very confused. Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed? Page of Cups reversed. And the Ace of Coins. And then I see the Knight of Cups right there, guys. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you, someone is holding back their emotional you know, where they are emotionally. And I see a new beginning, uh, an opportunity for something to come in that's very stable. But I think you have your guard up towards it because you do have to let this go, you know. Um, and there might be some closure that you have that helps you to let this go, okay? Let's see what else you need to know here. And if you're interested in any of these decks, the links to them are in the description box below. Tell me what Capricorn needs to know for the middle of September. So there's something here that you're not expecting, okay? Uh, it may be a man in your life. This could even be you if you are a man. Um, but it's like maybe you don't have any expectations with this person for some of you. For others, this could be a man coming in who's very well off, who could be a businessman or, you know, has good business sense, good financial sense about themselves. You have bad health. Some of you, you may have been struggling with some health problems, mental health, emotional health, physical health, but I think this opens up a new door for you, a new path in some way. You have family room and you have house. Some of you, there's some changes within your home environment, changes you could be remodeling, redecorating, moving, that sort of thing. You have official person and you have marriage, okay? Some of you, you could be getting some sort of title, a high, going into a higher level commitment with someone. Look at that pathway. Yeah, I see a new path opening up for you. You gaining some sort of maturity. And then you got the marriage card. Wow. And courtship. Some of you, you could be moving into a new home, finding yourself married, you know, somebody wanting a higher level commitment with you. Let's go ahead and clarify. Clarify these energies for Capricorn. And you have community in reverse. So I feel like a lot of you, maybe there's a something that you're not expecting having to do with your family, your home. Um, I feel like somebody tries to take something from you, but they don't get away with it or it's coming back around. Maybe you feel unsupported. Okay. I do see good fortune, something, some sort of health problem, whether mental health, physical health or emotional health leading you to some sort of good fortune. This could be a travel, a new journey. Some of you could be traveling to take care of some sort of health problems. You have main male and family room. Some of you, there is a blessing coming in within your home environment, some changes. You have occupation in reverse. Some of you may be leaving one job or leaving a situation that you're no longer, you feel like is no longer working for you um, for a new title, a new job. Look at that, a new door opening up towards some sort of wealthy person coming in. A lot of you are thinking about this, um, thinking about this person, thinking about this direction. Is this right for me? Okay, so there is some sort of stress associated with the higher level commitment. Somebody has to make a choice. That's what the stress is about. Someone making a choice about if they want to be in a higher level commitment or not. Okay, yeah, I see you guys going on a new journey, traveling or moving, or this is a new spiritual journey even. For a lot of you, I feel like there's been stress regarding love and relationships. Wow, and that came out again. Yeah, I see you guys maturing in some way, okay? Um, 
What's this great fortune about? Okay, so you're doing a lot of thinking about what's going to be best for you. I feel like there's someone maybe even that you're concerned about. Um, cons you could be worrying yourself about your money, okay? I do feel like for a lot of you, there's something that maybe you're having difficulty letting go of, all right? Let's go ahead and get into your next spread. Messages for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Okay. Some of you, there could be some sexual desire that you're having here or something that you want. Some of you, you have a new love here. You could be enjoying sex with this person. Um, some of you, this is a new baby an opportunity for a new baby coming in or a new family life. You have travel and you have that with clear path. So a lot of you are moving on from something where the door to that has been closed. All right. And so you are moving forward and there's something here that maybe you are anticipating. Okay. You're anticipating success with forward movement. Some of you could be wanting to buy a new car or getting, you know, um, anticipating something having to do with some sort of travel. You have solitude. Some of you, okay, I will say this, and I'm getting this um, energetically, that some of you need to be paying attention to your driving. You need to pay attention. Don't be texting and driving. You know, make sure that you're very focused on what it is that you're doing because you could be accident prone during this time, okay? That's just what I'm, I'm getting energetically. Um, I do feel like a lot of you guys are feeling lonely. Maybe you're not dating or there's a, a relationship that you're not getting the effort that you want. All right. I do see hard work. Some of you guys could be traveling for work. Some of you are working on a connection. You know, you have lust for someone. You have feelings for someone. I see you ending a cycle in your life. All right. Big changes ahead. A lot of you have not been focusing on yourself and you need to stand up to someone, all right? Stand up for yourself. I feel like there's a risk that you have to take here. Let's clarify. Clarify these messages for the sign of Capricorn. Ooh, okay. Someone here is wearing a false mask, all right? Somebody is wearing a false mask. Maybe you're unprepared for that. It could be someone that you may be having a sexual connection with or someone that you want um, maybe you're physically attracted to this person. Let's see. Travel. Some of you are moving on from any sort of competition or conflict that you're having. All right. Uh, could be within a friendship. Could be, uh, somebody that you have children with for some of you. Maybe you are friends with this person, um, and they could be in competition with you for some of you yeah look at that you're anticipating something finally coming to an end and you sort of leveling up from the past all right uh let's see some of you there is somebody that feels lonely that has secret feelings or emotions for someone Okay, they want to come back around. This could even be somebody from the past, all right? A situation from the past that wants to resurrect itself, you know, that the universe is kind of bringing back around for you. A lot of you are working really hard towards rebuilding your level of confidence. Maybe your confidence has been shaken. I see some obstacles there. Um, some things that have been in the way of your confidence level. Yeah, some of you guys have felt rejected, okay? And you're coming to the end of that cycle. There could be an apology coming in or some truth coming out. Maybe you are doing the rejecting because you're finally ending a cycle, okay? I see somebody afraid. Somebody afraid to come talk to you. Let's see. Tell me about this false mask. Yeah, you're awakening, learning about somebody's false mask, somebody that may be not who you thought they were. Secrets are getting revealed, okay? Uh, what's this competition? Okay. So 
somebody may have been running away from you, running away from taking accountability in a situation. I feel like this is something that didn't work out for you. And I see some changes manifesting for you in this situation. Somebody was playing games. Now I feel like somebody is looking for, um, they're looking for a sign. They want to reach out. I also feel like this person may have multiple offers. Let's see what this rejection is about. Yeah, you're rejecting anything that where somebody was playing games, all right? Because you want to focus on your happiness, all right? So rejection, I think you're rejecting something where if anybody is coming towards you in a way that doesn't feel like they're all in, like they're, you know, they're playing mind games with you, Capricorn, I feel like you guys are rejecting that energy. You're moving forward. Let's see, what other messages do you have for the sign of Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Capricorn. So you're trying to act responsibly, Capricorn. Okay. You're trying to act responsibly. I do see some sort of hidden information. Somebody has some secrets here. I feel like a lot of you are putting in the work towards letting something go, all right? Um, some of you, there might be some inf information that comes towards you where that's helpful for you in letting something go. I see somebody needing validation. They may feel desperate. I feel like... You might have you might even be in like a very blah mood, Capricorn. Somebody is resisting some sort of change here. Okay. And I feel like there's some gossip or some news that comes in that is a surprise. All right. And it's like you don't feel any pressure when it comes to this situation. Let's clarify. A lot of you you're really trying to find peace in your opinion, in your perspective. Some of you feel caught in the middle between wanting to be mature and putting in the work that it takes and wanting to act immaturely. You know what I mean? Like wanting to um, have revenge in some way. I feel like someone... Somebody may have overreacted and said and made some decisions to leave something behind that they regret now, okay? But too many people know about this. I see somebody watching you online. I feel like somebody is watching you online or desperate, looking for things in reference to, you know, like looking at your social media, that sort of thing. I feel like somebody is resisting change, but they're jealous. All right. Um, jealous that you guys are still doing good, still winning. I don't know. Somebody is caught off guard or surprised. Um, hmm. They feel ashamed of their sexuality. I do feel like there's a physical attraction. Mm, somebody could even be working on themselves. Trying to avoid... Um, hmm. I feel like somebody has a drinking problem or trying to get over some sort of... Um, Trying to get over some sort of stuck feeling, like a, a feeling of, I don't know, dealing with, using other things to deal with their problems, okay, is what I'm kind of feeling like. Like, trying to get out of facing their problems, um... And they may be trying to work on themselves on the out in the outward appearance, making it seem like they're one way, but then on the inside they're really something different. You know, it's like 
outwardly they look fine, but inside there's something going on within them. Okay, let's see. Capricorn. Somebody is stuck. This could even be somebody trapped in the closet, okay? Like, some of you are stuck dealing with a twin flame energy. Maybe you're in that runner-chaser energy. Okay, somebody wants proof of something. Ooh, some of you, there's a person that maybe ghosted you or you ghosted this person that now wants to come back around and talk, all right? This person is watching you. They feel a magnetic attraction or pull towards you. They could even feel very jealous when it comes to you. They feel some sort of sense of ownership, okay? Yeah, I think a lot of you are feeling stuck. You're ignoring your spiritual guides, your spiritual path right now. Um, I see someone, someone's anger subsiding because they want a long-term commitment. Okay. Yeah, you guys are getting a wish come true. A soulmate partnership coming in. Let's clarify. Capricorn. Mm, a lot of you are feeling stuck. Some of you could have to do with the Libra. Some of you, maybe you are doing legal paperwork or there's some paperwork here that has to be made or has to be done that's causing you to kind of feel stuck. And I feel like you have a soulmate connection coming in. Somebody wants to bring something to light, wants to communicate, okay? They may be watching you on the internet, guys. I see somebody with some toxic behavior watching you. Somebody, they're not meeting with you. They're not like like coming forward, but it's like they're watching you. Maybe they feel like you're a drama queen or there was some drama in the past. All right. Somebody was cut off quickly, like drastically, or, and now they want to settle this. Like there's something from the past that has to be settled. Some of you are getting some sort of closure. Yeah, somebody may have fallen out of love here. They're no longer angry. I feel like whoever was avoiding the situation is now wanting to come around and speak up. Yeah, look at that. Ghosted again, showing up in reverse. Your wish, Capricorn, I feel like you want to have a conversation with someone. You want to clear the air with someone and they could be surprising you, popping up out of nowhere, communicating with you, okay? Um, let's see, give me one more for this wish. Yeah, and you're gonna, I think you're gonna realize that there's still emotion there. You still have feelings here or maybe the emotions that you had in the past come kind of rushing back to teach you some sort of lesson. Okay, tell me about this poison. What's this toxicity? Okay, some of you, this person is watching you while they're at work. Okay, I feel like they may have been in a long-term commitment or you had a long-term commitment with this person. Now somebody is acting single or becoming single and they want to settle this. All right, what's the realization? Yeah, there's some happiness coming in through communication or realization maybe some clarity having to do with a an ending of a committed relationship and i think it's happening soon but i feel like there is someone that is obsessed with you they're watching you online all right and it may be your divine masculine or someone with a uh, masculine energy okay let's see what your advice is here what is the advice for capricorn for mid-september don't deny your mistakes, learn from them. So the Spirit is telling you it's time to learn from the mistakes that you've made in the past so you don't continue to repeat them. And being authentic will radiate more pure energy than being an ideal you. This is telling you to do what you feel like is right in your heart. Don't worry about what other people are going to say or what they're going to think. Speak your truth. Communication is the key to success. Communicate with the intention to understand, not with the intention to respond. But I feel like you might be afraid of some sort of truth or be afraid to communicate something. But Spirit is telling you, don't be afraid. Face this fear, okay? 
And Spirit is saying, trust your instincts. Listen to your intuition in involving the situation because things are improving for you, Capricorn. So you have some big improvements manifesting here. This is going to be a blessing, okay? All right, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for trusting me with your messages. If you like this type of content, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I go live and post new videos. I love you. I hope you're loving on yourself. Peace, love, and blessings to you always. Bye-bye.